Hello everybody and welcome back. I am KRX and we are working on Castile in this beginner tutorial series for Europa Universalis 4 with all DLCs. And man, this is a beast of a game. You guys are the crazy people that have all the DLCs or you have most of them or the main ones or whatever, right? I'm not, I'm not saying literally all DLCs. I, I just mean the, the gameplay ones, the meaningful ones and stuff like that. So, um, and maybe you don't have all of them, but you have a big chunk of them. So thank you for being here. And uh, we can see that in our diplomatic mode, it is highlighting all of our claims, right? Our, our claims to conquest. We have claims now in Tunis. We have claims on, or Tunis here, claims on Tlemcen over here. We have claims on Morocco over here. And we're going to try to get these guys down here actually moved over. And, and we can actually do an automatic transport thing and just move them in here. And the, the cogs are going to automatically know to transport these guys over. That's great. Uh, as soon as we are done with the conversion, we will get the claims we need to attack Morocco. So we're getting pretty close to attacking Morocco. When is this conversion? The conversion is almost done. Good, good, good. Stop drilling. Stop drilling. We are about to go to war. We are about to go to war with Morocco. War is upon us. We're one tick away from getting the final claim that we can get on Tlemcen at the moment based on our what we sort of based on our borders and everything. Now we do have a Algerian... Um, we have an Algerian... rebellion that's that is likely to happen here in a few months now the, here's the other tricky thing too is that we can know we can't convert this land down here because it's it's too difficult to convert what we can do instead is if we actually add this as part of our trade company what this will do is it actually makes it so we can't convert this land it makes it nigh impossible to convert this land however it gives us additional local trade power and it gives us uh uh, extra naval force limit, institution spread, and it makes it so that we can't convert it, but it also makes it so the tolerance, it does not contribute to our religious non-unity. See how we have 5.39 intolerance there? Yeah, if we do this, it, that'll go away. The intolerance now, whoop, gone. The intolerance is gone. So this will actually make it so that these provinces fundamentally don't need to be converted. Don't need to be converted. So there we go. And with these trade companies, these are going to contribute a lot to, well, trade. Um, and then presumably we'll also potentially be able to upgrade uh, these different trade company states by improving, by building buildings and stuff that will actually further increase the benefit that we get from these provinces. Because a trade company is not going to have a low autonomy, right? The autonomy is 90% because it's a trade company, because it's a territorial trade company. So it'll be 90%. Actually, it might go to 80%. I can't remember exactly how that works for trade companies. Trade companies might be 80%. Whereas our main heartland land is, you can see it's it's either 0% or it's trying to get down to 0%. It's, it's going towards 0%. It's going towards 0% or it's at 0%. So that's really, really cool. Um, but the trade companies are, are going to give us what we need from these provinces, which is, well, trade power. We are getting very close to attacking Morocco here, though. And if we do that, let's check and see what that's going to look like. We're not going to attack right this second because we're still... Um, Waiting for this conversion to come, we want an additional claim on Sally, and so on and so forth. But we can just sort of assess the situation here. It looks like Morocco has about uh, 15,000 troops, and we have, um, Tlemcen has about 5,000, and these little dudes over here have like two or 3,000. Coast have been raided again. Yeah, I forgot about that. Let's, let's unmothball the fleet here. Um... Kind of a bummer. Here we go. We have, there we go. We have converted all this land. We can get additional tolerance of the true faith. Sure, whatever. More importantly, though, it's going to give us free claims now on this region here. And for some reason, it also gives us a, a claim on Malta, which is kind of funny to me. Um, of course, that's controlled by Aragon, so that's fine. As long as we can get that personal union over Aragon, that's going to be great. And I think we should be getting that. We could be getting that at some point, but it just hasn't happened yet. So let's actually attack Morocco here. Let's go. Now we have an overwhelming force against Morocco. In fact, we could call Aragon in again. Again? Didn't we already call them in against Tlemcen? I would rather save... I would rather save Aragon. Actually, Aragon won't help us against... That's interesting, guys. That's interesting to me. Do we call in Aragon? Do we call in Aragon? Do 
Aragon has no legal heir. They have more prestige than us. What the heck? <laughs> we don't have the same ruling dynasty. <laughs> Not until Enrique actually takes the throne in a couple of years. You know, let's 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 call in Aragon. Let's call in Aragon just to get them distracted. More. I don't want them getting beat doing their own thing. I want them helping us. I think this will be the uh, the war goal here. And then we'll just sort of take uh, these provinces, these three we talked about. And then we might take this down here and we might sort of just take the coast depending on what we can and can't take. Let's grab Aragon just to make it overwhelming, right? Just to make it nice and easy for us. This is a Highland province. We can't engage these guys. Those guys will get there in six days. These guys are drilling. No, Tlemcen, no. I'm sorry, Tlemcen. You're about to get smashed. You are about to get smashed. Poor guys. Poor guys. I'm actually going to try to... I want to get Tlemcen out of the war as quickly as possible. Because we want to keep them on a, on a... We want to have them on a shorter truce. We want to attack them separately. This is a war about beating up Morocco. We're not really that interested in... Um, we're not really that interested in fighting Tlemcen. So if we could just piece Tlemcen out nice and quick, that'd be amazing. We're doing most of the grunt work here. It'd be nice if uh, we could get... Okay, what we might need to do is get military access through Portugal this time. To let uh, Aragon come down here. Aragon, where are your troops, dude? Are you trying to like bring them over via boat? Tell me you have eight, more than 8,000 troops, please. Please. So we have, uh, we're sieging down the Moroccan capital. Just kind of going slow there. We are uh, sieging down the Tlemcen capital. Now, we do have about 2,000 troops over here I don't want to tango with. These 1,000 are probably going to try to consolidate with Morocco. Uh, these guys probably could move up this way if they want. That's a, that's a, what this is called is an overwhelming attack unless they stay there together. I don't know if we're going to be able to engage these guys or not. Um, we don't have a general on either of these, but this is a, this is, well, okay, they had, they have 2,000 troops. If it was a 10 to 1, It'd be an instant defeat for them. It'd be an instant defeat. So, like, if we leave a thousand dudes here, we take these ten thousand. If we engage these guys, that is an instant victory. We don't even fight a battle. It's an overwhelming defeat. We don't. We don't take any losses or anything like that. And they lose their one thousand, which is kind of what we're trying to do here. There we go. And basically, we're just trying to get these guys out of the war. The Iberian wedding has happened. The Iberian wedding has happened. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Spain, here we come. Let's go. Now, unfortunately, Naples is not independent. I want to rectify that. I want to get Naples back under our control. Naples is of our um, of our dynasty. These are our family members. I want to bring them back into the fold. I want to see if we can do that somehow. Let's go. Let's go. So the Iberian wedding is a historical event that happened, well, in history, right? <laughs> it happened. Uh, Castile and Aragon basically just noticed one day that, hey, you know, there's a queen over here, there's a king over here, let's team up, get married, unite our countries, and we'll be stronger for it. Two good Catholic nations. This, I believe the uh, I believe the papacy in Rome and the church wanted this to happen to uh, basically strengthen the Catholic um um, legitimacy and, and sort of this because because uh, Spain is historically like like really faithful to the church and everything like that and I think um, this was uh, favorably reported in Rome and, and this is something that Rome wanted to have happen and stuff like that too so no we're definitely not gonna we're, we're gonna let us bind their dynasty to ours let's go Austria and Ferrara are gonna be upset apparently there is gonna be a little bit of a rise up in uh, Lugo where we do have a little bit of a rebellion here. Ooh, that's far away. That is annoyingly far away. So what I'm going to try to do is we're going to try to get guys... Yikes. Now the top option will always happen. So by default, the top option will happen, okay? If we just let that auto go, then it will pick the top option, not a random option, the top option. I'm trying to get troops up here. Let's send these guys up here. We're going to have to take 
uh, these we're gonna have to grab these eleven thousand over here as well. So I don't I don't have to worry about that event. I know that we're micromanaging our windows in like goofy, goofy ways and stuff. That's kind of just how it goes, uh, fortunately or unfortunately, I guess. Um, noble, yeah. Hmm. I'm not gonna wait. I, I you know I'm a little paranoid all of a sudden. We're we're gonna we're gonna hit this button, but I just want to make sure our boat's like getting down here and we're not forgetting this. Okay, we got these 11,000 dudes that can get on the boat. Okay, this is good. This is good. I think they'll be able to uh, get there and engage in time. Let's hit the button. Find. There we go. Personal union. We now... We don't control. Again, we don't control Aragon, but they are part of our our nation in a personal union. Unfortunately, it looks like some of their troops are getting black flagged here. So we now, if we go here, we can now see, let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. We now have Navarra. We have Aragon. That means we have probably too many diplomatic relations, to be honest. Oh, actually, we're at five. We have five. And we have five, so that's fine. Um, there's a few different things here. Um, I do not want to hit this button. Okay, this is a very important button. This is going to give us a restore... The re restoration of Union Casas Belly on Portugal. Okay, this will let us attack Portugal and take their throne. Okay? That's not something that we're going to want to... That, that's a limited time. We only have a certain amount of time to be able to use that Casas Belly. It doesn't last forever. We have subjugated Navarra, though, so we can hit that, and that'll increase... That'll instantly give them a fort in Navarra. Very, very cool, because that's a mountain fort. That's, that's a really good, powerful fort for free. We're not going to do this. We are not going to do that right now but we are going to um we are going to try to uh pers uh, you know get we got a few different issues here actually hold the phone hold the phone i'm a little concerned here as we have some moroccans here that are probably looking to now that the um, yeah, we need we need people to group up here. We need people to group up here. We need to fight this fight and get these dudes back. Like this is all sorts of bad. This is all sorts of bad. We do not want them engaging here while we're about to take this. That is a very vulnerable stack of units. Very vulnerable stack of units. Come on. Come on, Aragon. Come on, dude. Help me out here, man. Oh, man. We lost a lot of guys up there, too. 35,000 here. We might need to pull back on these 4,000. If they get down here with these 12... They don't look like they want to move with those four th those 12,000, though. They're just letting us take that with 4,000 units. Huh. Okay, these guys are black flagged, so the Aragon Aragon's troops are not going to be able to help us here. So this is March 24th to leave. That's March 12th to make it. I wouldn't mind piecing them out, but it's... Uh, I wouldn't mind piecing out to Lemson, which we probably could piece out to Lemson, to be fair. No, they won't do it. we got to take their capital. Well, we're going to take their... Potentially take their capital in a couple days. That would make a big difference. Ooh, that's kind of nice. How quickly can we get... No. Hmm. We might get black flagged if we do this. I don't know. We're at 90... I don't want to lose this 1,000 troops if we don't have to, but it looks like we're going to lose those 1,000 troops. We've lost one of our generals. We have to train another one. Not bad, but not great. Okay, we've done that. Oh, well, we're going to lose 1,000 men. That's fine. It happens. It happens. And we need to quickly get down here and help these guys out, because that is not looking good. Let's get our heavies over here. Actually, the heavies will help quite a bit, because the heavies will actually increase the uh, the rate at which we can siege that. We do not want them to take that if we can help it. This is kind of a tricky situation. We're just making sure not to forget any of our guys, right? That would be amazing if we could land those dudes before they siege this, but unfortunately, I think they will siege this. But that that sort of like naval, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna take that. That's fine. We can take it back. 
We can take it back. Hopefully, the idea that I'm thinking over here is that if we can sit on their capital, we can get these guys out of the war. These pesky 5,000 troops right here, we can get them out of the war. Let's go back and get these other 7,000 that are left behind over here. Aragon had to go all the way home. They were black flag. They basically had to go all the way home in order to... Um, In order to get unblack flagged, I, I think to be fair, it was kind of bugging out a little bit. I don't think they should, they all should have been completely black flagged. Er, wait, Aragon, what the heck, dude? We're in this war, man. Are, are they not in the war anymore? They're under us at a personal you do, but they're technically not in the war. Oh, they're not in the war. I think that's a little bit of a just a. I I, I that seems a little odd to me, because clearly we're in the war. They should be in the war. Subjects do honor the cult, but I guess they didn't get the call to to it like reset their like call to arms or something i'm not sure that seems really strange to me that seems a little strange to me these guys will definitely want to get out of the war once they're sort of fully sieged here there we go the capital of morocco has fallen this is a bunch of transports right now we are also bringing in these guys where's our light ships we need to get our light ships over here to help as best as they can um and that also is going to bring in an admiral so hopefully this will help hopefully this will be a decisive battle good um the light ships need to continue on their their landing Det uh detach the damaged ships okay hopefully they'll go and regroup well instead of fighting these 5000 i'm trying to get them out of the war right i'm trying to get them out of the war and hopefully that'll happen by these guys sieging down this land over here. They're at medium. Let's get them out. Let's get them out. Let's get them out. Maybe they'll even, heck, they'll even pay us war reps. Let's do it. Those guys are now black flagged, however. But that's okay. Send them back over there. Get unblack flagged. They got to get back into our territory before they can be used. The capital of Morocco has fallen. That's a big, that's a, that's a big thing right there. Morocco is trying to sort of move through this territory here. I don't know if that's going to work out for them that well or not. Now, the interesting thing is... That would be kind of an interesting war goal, because that would really kind of, like, block Portugal from taking land from... Um, I'm just kind of, like, feeling this out. Like, what can we take? What should we take? I mean, no one's going to really care about this. These are a bunch of North Africans... Uh, nations that, that fundamentally can't really can't really do anything about this. They're kind of at our whim right now a little bit. And we don't have to be that aggressive if we don't want to be that aggressive. We can take the stuff that we have a little bit more of a justified claim on, rest assured that Portugal won't be able to take any of it, and just leave it at that. Like, they're willing to give us this. We've eclipsed them, though. And I would like to take their money. Oh, you know what? We do want to here. We want to piece these guys out. I think I think what we do is we take their war reps, we take their money. And we want these guys in a secondary war. We want these guys in a secondary war by themselves. So let's get all these guys out. Let's get all these guys out. Let's just continue to beat up Morocco. Continue to beat up Morocco here. Okay, there is going to be an engagement here. It seems like all of our guys are dogfighting. That is our land, so they're getting unblack flagged, and there is a fight here. We are the defenders because we control the fort. Morocco's going to try to siege that down, it seems. Sort of moving along here. This is a mountain fort, so it's going to be very dangerous to take that. Smugglers, huh? I think we're to reduce our... I don't want to spend a hundred and something ducats on that. I'm gonna I'm gonna just reduce our our um Do we fight them here? We could. You know, if they want to fight, we'll fight. But it looks like they're gonna sneak out of there just in time. Just in time. We have rebels that are about to rise up in Algier uh, area. That's fine. Port uh we're gonna have to check and see if Morocco is actually willing to kind of give us what we want here in a second.
Aragon is incredibly loyal, so that's really, really good. We definitely want this, um, although let's look at our institution situation here. It's 9.9. .9. Really? Now, it's spreading a lot faster than it was, and we could do things to help it spread. Like the advanced, this this will help it help it spread uh, in this state. Um, so it'll spread to these areas a lot faster. 0 0.4. So if it spread to Toledo, we'd be able to get it. So unfortunately, we have a situation here where um, the embracement cost, where actually we need to get 10% of our country needs to embrace it before we could pay for the embracement. It looks like the pay for the embracement is going to cost us like 700 ducats probably. It's just like add up all those numbers. 40 plus 40 plus 35 plus 35, blah, blah, plus the 410 at the bottom. So it's going to cost us a lot of money to embrace, right? Like 800 bucks. Um, so we're going to want it to spread a little bit. It is saying that we actually have the means of getting a temple here, which is good. And, and for the most part, this is this is a decent cost. I, I just think we're going to save our points. We're going to try to save our points. We're going to try to let this spread a little bit, but it does look like it is taking its sweet time. It's going to be five years before that's embraced. Yikes. Yikes. Now, what could end up happening is we might end up seeing somewhere like Aragon embrace it first. And if they did, well, it's hard to say they'd actually do that. Uh, yeah, if, if, you can, if you can be bordering countries that are friendly, that have embraced it, it can spread very much quicker. So like Aragon actually is going to get some, some, there is some spreading going on here. I do want to, oh, we do need to be buttering up Naples. I, I really wanted to ally Naples. I don't know why they don't like us all of a sudden. They want our provinces. Okay, well, it is what it is, dude. It is what it is, man. And you know what, for the most part, dude, we're going to claim your throne here in a second, I think, and see how that works. We don't, how do we not have the same ruling dynasty? Oh, because our heir hasn't taken over. One year away. We need to get this guy in power. Now, admittedly, he's not great, but he is a little bit stronger than the admin, but he's weaker on everything else. And we're gonna we're gonna focus admin. I just we're, we just we need to get caught up on admin. This is critical. So we're stuck. We are stuck at this mountain right here. There's a mountain fort and we're stuck at this. Oh, what the heck? Okay, that's fine. They took uh, Gibraltar. Um, <laughs> they're going to try to take this mountain province. They're, they're unfortunately not going to be able to, to do that. Sorry to say. Sorry to say. I'm going to get our, our light ships back to protecting trade. Trying to help our economy a little bit. We could fight these guys, 7,000 there. We could fight them or we could just kind of ignore them. Um, essentially what we're trying to do is get this mountain fort. Once that mountain fort falls, we'll be able to get what we need and what we want. Um, we can take these things because we have claims on these. But they do not want to do that, right? So a potential war deal would be war reparations. Take all their money take our claims and then also um, take this province to try to block Portugal from eventually getting in there. We can see that there is a lot of, we are building up a lot of aggressive expansion, but it's with the same four nations over and over and over again. And all these guys, we have truces with all these countries. They cannot join a coalition against us except for Tunis. And you can't have a coalition of one. It is going to cost us a certain amount of admin, but we're, luckily we're making admin now. And a little bit of Diplo because this is unjustified. This province here is unjustified, so we're paying Diplo. We're paying a little extra aggressive expansion for that as well. I think for the most part, that's going to get us um, what we uh, what we need here. Unfortunately, not being able to take North uh, uh, North Africa, North Morocco, there is kind of a bummer. We don't need to be building up with Tlemcen anymore. Oh no! It looks like Tunis has attacked. They have attacked. Who is the war against? It's against Tlemcen. Yeah. So Tunis is going to try to take as much of this as they can. They might take a huge chunk. We might need to beat up on Tunis to kind of slow them down a little bit, to be honest. Let's hear. Let's go. These guys are looting us and pillaging us and all kinds of things. Let's go beat them up here. This is a mountain. We're the defenders in the mountains. 
So we, are, we rolled a seven, they rolled a four. They have a better general than us in the shock phase, at least, but they got a minus two because of the mountain, so it was just complete destruction. We only lost, um, we lost 1,500 men. They, they lost all 7,000 other troops. They're either surrendered or deserted or dead or something. And yeah, we know that mission's fulfilled, but we're just not that interested. You know, to, to continue the Reconquista, unfortunately, we get free claims on all this other stuff. We have to own these pieces. Unfortunately, we don't own them. If Portugal owns them, clearly. Now, we have a good reason to attack Portugal, to be fair. We have a very good reason to attack Portugal. It would mean a war against England. I don't really think that England would be able to do much about it, though. Navarro, how are you feeling about us? You know, buttering up Navarro might not be a bad thing. Getting a royal marriage with him, so on and so forth. Why not? 21% positive here. 35%, so we're working on that siege. It is coming along here. Once that's done, we can disengage their navy and have a little bit of a battle over here with our heavies. The Grand Armada. Thirty-five percent. Can we get it? There we go. Nice. These guys are gonna back off because they're a little scared. It's another four. This should allow us to get what we want. I, I don't think we'll have to uh, completely engage. Wait, what? I, I, hmm, we have a decent queen. I'm not sure if this is the heir that we want. Oh no, it is, it is the right, it is the right uh, dynasty, okay. That heir, heck, that heir is better than our, uh, than our ruler, right? Better than a ruler. Reduce missionary strength, it is what it is. Doesn't matter, that area is already Catholic. It's likely to stay Catholic. A little bit of a naval battle here. We could try to steal some ships. Just sort of beat them up and stuff. Looks like we're going to disengage them one more time. And one more time. Yeah, I don't... Uh, we've sunk a number of their ships. I don't think we've stolen any of their ships. Oh, we did actually say the the, the uh, light um, these just kind of stole a couple as they were sort of passing through I mean a couple more cogs could be a good thing I don't know if we need that many but yeah those guys those guys are taken care of taken care of now what we do do we do okay let's let's end the war with Morocco we have a button that's just popped up we can purchase an ability so we can get our first age bonus and these when we get to 800 splendor we can spend on these and, and we can get these faster by by having more thrones president of we could do a golden age but these you could only do these once per game i wish you could do these once per era that'd be really cool um like if you earn a golden age you just get it but you can only do this once per game once per campaign so we might not want to do that in the age of discovery we might want to do that in the age of reformation or the age of absolutism or the age of revolutions or whatever Although to be fair, like we're running into one of the things it does is it reduces power costs, point costs, admin point costs, and stuff like that. Maybe that would be kind of nice to do that. I don't know. But anyways, um, we can make that decision later on. But we get these little age bonuses here. We could reduce justified wars reduces aggressive expansion impact. We're not really running into an aggressive expansion impact issue. No one really cares about the land we're taking down here in North Africa. This gives us free war taxes. We haven't talked about war taxes. We didn't even know we could enact war taxes. But this is something that usually costs a military power. And we can make it free, which will just give us more sort of economy while at war. That's actually really cool. I usually like having this one because just having free war taxes for 50 years ends up being a lot of money. This is really cool. Higher development colonies. We haven't quite started colonizing yet, but it could be cool to do that one next. Claim versus claim. There's a lot of good ones here. Uh, adaptive combat bonus we can get extra combat ability when fighting in the same terrain as our capital our capital is grasslands so getting a plus one die roll here is not terrible it's not terrible but i think improved war taxes is going to be good i think just getting a strong we have so many things that we could be investing money in so getting a, a better economy is going to be really good
Disciplined guy. Disciplined military advisor. Very good. We'll get him slotted in. Okay. So the war taxes, how we enact those is we go here. Raise war taxes. This reduces land maintenance modifier. 15% naval maintenance modifier. 15%. So that's kind of how they factor. Instead of just increasing taxation rate, they just make it so that, like, it, the thematics of it makes sense. Like, um... Or I guess you're paying your army less and stuff like that because it's like, we're at war, we need to like, you know, yada, yada, yada and stuff, so. Let's get out of the war before we actually have to fight these dudes because it looks like the Moroccans are actually looking to fight now. And they're about to siege out the uh, the war goal. So there we go. We have claims on three of these. This is the one to block Portugal. We could grab all this. Well, actually, we couldn't. Not with all the money we're taking and everything else. So we're opting to take money and we're opting to take war reparations and some other things. We don't really care about annulling their treaties with any of their allies. That's totally fine. Um, yeah, let's get them out of the war. Let's get them out of the war. Let's get everybody back home. Except for these guys are trapped. I don't think we need this many cogs. I think 12 is going to be more than enough. So let's get rid of one of these. But I like the fact that we got an extra an extra one there. We can get our Admiral back on protecting trade. Give them a little bit more maneuverability. Makes them a little bit more effective at protecting trade. Send these ships down here to pick these 8,000 up and go help out with this rebellion. Luckily, there is a fort there. So those guys are protected. We do need to claim or core these bits of land. No problem there. We actually have plenty of admin right now. We are way behind on admin technology. Way behind. Way behind. Like, devastatingly behind. Um, but luckily, we are going to um, to be fixing that as the Renaissance is embraced. Um, which, unfortunately, it's... Uh, well, it's just not embraced. It's going to cost us a, a bajillion ducats to do that. And it's also going to take a few years for it to actually spread to Toledo. Which will make it cheaper when it spreads to Toledo, but... Yeah, hmm. unfortunately, we need to be saving our money to embrace. The, it, it, here we go, and this is a decision that's going to actually remove a bunch of ducats. Man, that's a bummer. I don't want to lose admin points. Um, man, that 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 right there hurt right there. Now let's get these guys over here to take care of the rebellion. And for the most part, we're at peace. We have uh, truces with uh, Morocco, which are going to end in 13 years. We have a truce with Tlemcen; it's going to end in seven years. We can attack Tunis. And we also have the ability to do a big war against Portugal if we feel like we're at that point where we want to do that. In the future wars, we're going to have Aragon and Navarra helping us out. That's pretty cool. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Guys, I read every single comment. Feel free to share a comment or a thought or a question down below, and we will uh, we'll get to that. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for watching this episode, though. I really appreciate it. Of course, we also do have a playlist down below for, for catching the episodes in, in order and in catching the next episode and the next one and so on and so forth. So thank you so much, everybody, for uh, watching this, and I will see you guys in the next episode.